Greetings, everyone. This is Elizabeth. Thanks for joining me today. Technology, it just it just does not want to work for me. Hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that uh, we won't get booted. <laughs> we won't get booted out of the system. Let's let's just hope for that. Hope for the best. Um, let me double check to make sure. Can we even hear me? I don't even know. Snowball. No, audio. Hello? Ah, why? Why, 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 why? Where's my life? Why is it like taking forever? Oh, that was making noise. Am I making audio now twice? That is so weird. Okay. If the audio sounds weird, just let me know. There it is. I found the other one. Okay. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. I think we got it. We think we got it. Okay. And we say hello to Debbie J. Who's at the airport. Uh, Gloria Wolf. Hello, hello, Judy. Hi, lady. Melissa K. Hello, hello, Melissa. No, I just said Melissa K. <laughs> Don't mind me. Brenda K. There we go. Jean, Brittany. Hello, Brittany. How are you? Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Jean, dear. PJB Stamper. Who texts me and says, <laughs> hurry up, basically. <laughs> I was trying, I was trying, I was trying. Okay, so I think I got everything working. I'm going to turn off that eyeball for a momento. Okay, that's our cricket eyeball. We need that. I got a card right here. I got a card right here. Get my letter opener out. Feeling a little angry today. No. Let's <laughs> try a new tech. Well, it's not new tech. It's my laptop. It's my regular snowball for sound. But uh, when I try to upload videos for like Crescent Creation, it's really, really getting more of a pain to do it on my phone. So I was looking for an alternative to do it on my laptop. And there's a new a new app out. I think it's by Google. They have everything, right? They have everything. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm excited. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm I'm here today. So that that makes it okay, right? <laughs> and Donna Nipper. Okay, so this one is from Ramona. Mona. Ooh, look at what Mona made. It's a uh, holographic little butterfly. It's very pretty. Look at that. I wonder if it was made with the Cricut or what's well, got, yeah, it's got maybe laser cutting. I don't know. But uh, it's beautiful. I love that's like little black stickery letters maybe. I don't know the it's not a stamp those are some sort of I wonder if those are the stickers by what's his face <gasps> look at she sent extras mm. a little sorry for the sorry for the caramel kitty who passed very thoughtful look at I can <laughs> I got my own ooh these are beautimous look at them Oh, I love these. 
Um, for anyone that wants to send me happy mail, down in the description, uh, somewhere in there is my mailing address. Don't stalk me though. I appreciate it. Don't send me yucky mail. <laughs> send me happy mail. <laughs> <sighs> but, uh, yeah, so thank you, Miss Mona. Look at that. I do save all of these fun little things that people send. I'm going to be starting... Uh, video series where I make an album junk journaly thing junk journaly thing using all of the fun cards and stuff everybody sends um, yeah you guys will find it to be kind of exciting hopefully because I'll be dismantling cards that have been sent just to make you know because I can't uh, keep the entire card so I'll be um, like cutting them and using them to make a junk -a journal for my cards. And I'm going to use all the goodies that people send. Maureen Pryor, hello, hello. So this one is from Brittany Weaver. She's in the comments, wherever your comments are. My comments are over there. Yours might be down there. But this one, oh, look at this. She also sent a kitty one. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at it. She gave it a little brick road and everything. I'm not going to lie. I like this embossed paper. Isn't that the cutest? Little tootsies. Toe beans. Toe beans. Toe beans. <laughs> and if you guys play around on Instagram, I'm sure you've heard the toe beans song. Whoever thought of it was a flipping genius. Every time I see little toe beans, <laughs> we go toe beans. But a beautiful, beautiful card. Mm, so beautimous. So beautimous. Thank you. She did the same thing I did. We had an A2 size card shipped in a 5x7. Apparently, somebody here used all of her envelopes and I have to buy some more. I have to buy some more, 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 more. Okay, so here on my desk, um, we have some stencily stencil material, right? So you can go to Joann's, pretty much any craft store and buy a good thick material to make your own stencils. Um, they use a like a heat tool to cut it out not particularly fond of that you can use an exacto knife to cut it out um these yeah so like this here i got 12 um stencil blank blanks which is kind of cool i mean they come with the thing so you can hang them they're a nice uh slick on one side textury on the other but uh yeah and if you have the probably the cricket i don't know if my cricket would cut through this because this one is pretty thick this one's a beefy i might have to send it through like multiple times so if you cut a circle you just tell it to cut it three times and there's tips and tricks to do that Today, we're going to try and stay as basic as possible because once you understand the basics, then you can expand and stretch, stretch out, you know, try another little thing, try another little thing until you expand your knowledge. Um, this, this, I know what that is. <laughs> There's a piece of paper there. But uh, this is weird. This is rubber stamp material, which I had purchased and I made a little rubber stamp, but I need to uh, see if I can run that through my Cricut. So there is rubber stamp material you can buy. But today we're gonna use what I purchased on Amazon. I honestly don't remember what mill it is. Um, yeah, I think there's actually two packs here because I'm pretty sure somebody sent me some 
see. I know I have my Mylar, which is a little bit different. Well, okay. So there's Graphics brand makes a nice Mylar-like stuff. And I have some of that over there, but it's thicker. And that's for um, other stuff. But this is, I want to say 7 mil. I don't know, honestly. But you, you just hunt down some mylar okay you could even use your acetate the thing is you would have to be extremely careful if you're doing ink blending acetate would be really good if you just want to do quick spurts of spray color and stuff and then just rinse it off um, but in a quick pinch you can use acetate mylar is it's like basically acetate but on steroids it's thicker and then they can tint it and stuff okay i hope that makes sense so i've got my little mylar here um knock stuff over you'll want to have a nice a nice mat for your stuff um i've got I did purchase the lesser expensive stuff from um, Hobby Lobby, the Paper Studio, because you can hit Paper Studio on sale, okay? Cricut mats, they're expensive, but they still work. I mean, I use mine for a testing and stuff like that, so I just respray them, but uh, I did get different... I got a white stick. I got the standard stick. Standard is definitely um, good for what we're going to use today. Light stick is probably your finer papers and stuff. Acid, yes, acetate on steroids. So I'm just going to pop this on here. I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I learned. Um, I do follow a lot of people on Instagram, TikTok here on YouTube, I'm constantly seeing good stuff come across my feed. And one good thing I saw, the person put their project down and they were specifically working with the vinyl, right? Um, I just kind of want to make it as even-ish as possible. Okay, they were working with the vinyl but they wanted to make sure that it was stuck because you know you get those air bubbles and stuff and it's no good they used a brayer okay um one person was doing this using a spatula just to get their stuff down i do have my simon hurley spatula which we use for lunar paste well it also works for this um, maybe you have a bench scraper from your kitchen, a plastic bench scraper. Okay. Look at that. So we can get that stuck down. And what I did is I took the plastic covering that protects this. Now you'll see that I put a sticker on mine. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Like when you peel this off some side one side sticks better than the other side so when i get a new one i just put a piece of tape across it plus it helps me find it that way there i know that this is the side that sticks better to my thing i don't know if it's really a thing but i've encountered that it just doesn't stick right <laughs> yeah of course it's simon hurley's but uh, yeah, so there's there's that. That's ready to go. I've got my Cricut on behind me. Mine is a... Mine's an older one. It's a Cricut Explore 1. So my little steps over at my machine might be different than yours. Okay. I do have mine. I bought an adapter for mine. Cricut Explore. You can buy an adapter to make it wireless. So mine is wirelessly connected to my laptop. To do that, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi, but that's already a given when <laughs> I think, yeah, hopefully they're on the same Wi-Fi. I don't know. 
but you know what I mean. Some de your devices, if they're not connecting w wirelessly, make sure that they're both using the same Wi-Fi network. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna turn off this view and we're gonna go to Cricket, Cricket view. Okay, so I'm also gonna turn my, my, my butamus off. So sorry, we're, I think that is what I have to do. One side is meant to stitch. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna turn off my, there we go. That way there you guys can see what's going on. And I need to get to my screen so hopefully I don't lose anything. Okay. So this is Cricut Design Space. I, don't know, I know a lot of you probably have it, but if you're watching the replay, um, you know, you guys can fast forward until you find something that you like. Definitely pause, back, rewind, all that fun stuff during the replays. You can have a free account. I use a free account because I get my SVGs from other places. I make my own SVGs and I'm kind of crafty with the design ideas so I can make my own. Um, so when you first log in, you just log in, you give it your, make a username, a password, all that fun stuff, save all that. Um, it's a big community, okay? I, I don't even go into it. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. So that's why I don't purchase the thing. I use the free version. And right over here, we're going to go and click for a new project, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Okay, we're clicking. Thank you. It's only taking all day. Linda. Linda has some good little videos as well on her channel. She is she is way more experienced at the ins and outs of the Cricut Design Space than I am. But like I said, once you know the basics, we can we can get into pretty good trouble with it, let me tell you. So Here's our design space, right? I clicked on their new project and we get our our gridded squares and everything. It's this is our mat basically. So first thing I like to do is I like to grab a shape, okay? Cuz they're free. You can use free shapes. And it's loading, okay? So there's my shape it's a square. Why is it square? Because my cutting area is square. Now, up here, under the untitled, we've got a lot of options. And we're going to go here to where our square says size, W, a number, H, and a number, width and height. And above, it's got a little lock. Now, right now, I just clicked it so it shows that it's unlocked. When it's unlocked, you change the size, okay, one side at a time. Okay. Come on, get back into our two. When you lock it, both change at the exact same time. Okay, so you can use those little dividers or we can go like this. And I'm gonna type a 12 in there. So now I have a 12 by 12 square because that is my stencil size, okay? So that's step one. And I am gonna leave it dark in color. F for you, you're gonna wanna do however it makes sense to you. I leave it dark in color and I call that my void. And then anything I take away from it, 
is going to be what we can put color into. So right now, if we were to put this on our piece of paper, we would not add any color to our paper because it's a complete blackout. So I'm going to go over here to my layers. Oops, nope. <laughs> not to duplicate. That is not what I want. Oh, wait, this one doesn't do that, does it? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Brr, let me think. Let me think. I've been playing in the um, brother scan and cut, so <laughs> bear with me. So if I right click, um, where am I missing here? That's my square. Right click on the square. Can I not lock this in place? I could have sworn. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so the little red icon says the image is too large, make it 11 and a half by you know, because you can put a long mat in there. So I just need to do another thing. But for some reason, I thought we could lock. Hunting eggs on design space. Nice. I change the canvas color and then change my paper color. You can go underneath layers and hit the little canvas button and change the color of your canvas. Well, that's interesting. Where's my layers? This is layers. Okay, so what Linda is saying is you can actually yeah see mine is maybe that's because it's I don't know the free version images text phases monogram upload new color blue okay there we go ah. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna make my canvas dark okay so what we what we did is we went we made sure nothing's clicked we went up here to our canvas color Okay. No, see, that still won't work for me. I mean, it, whatever works for you is going to work for you. But for me, visually, the space is too big. Oh, will that matter? I might be overthinking this. Pardon, pardon, apologies. So then, okay, so the canvas will pretend is 12 by 12. And then this piece... 11.5 okay and then we'll change the color of this to purple okay so the canvas being oh that was unlocked Come on, lock it. Okay, so 
We'll pretend that the black background is 12 by 12. The purple is our 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Okay. Um, I like doing the thingies. Okay. Once you click on the camera special, look at the top bar and see visible. Whoa, change, yeah. See, that's why we have Linda there. Okay, so here's here's the cutting area, right? And even then, with the way um, Cricut does its bordering, I I don't think we can draw the line right up to the edge, can we? I don't think so but uh, we'll, we'll see okay so this is our cutting our cutting surface this is where our stencil anything that we cut out of it we're gonna make um, a paper color right that because that makes sense now I'm just gonna shrink this nope oh my goodness Come on, I want my purple square in center screen, just a little bit. Okay, so here, here's that. Now, we can have fun. We can decide how we want to set up our, st our stencil, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some zones because I make four and a quarter by five and a half cards all the time, right? So this, this little thing, I'm going to undo that. We're going to do, um, my card is four and a quarter. So I'm going to do, I'm going to add a quarter inch. We're going to do four and a half by 5.75. Oops. 5.75. Okay, so this right here, this little square is the front of a card front. Okay, that's one card front. And then we can duplicate it. Okay, there's our second card front. And why all of a sudden are we going rounded corners. Is that what I picked? Huh. I'm going to put a square in there and then change it. See how they like that. Four and a quarter, so five and a half, four and a half by five seven fifths all right we're gonna delete that one we're gonna delete that one okay and i just hit the backspace you click and you hit the backspace and you can delete them so there is or get in there okay and then control c does that work control v Yes, control C to copy, control V to paste. Control V. There's another one and control V. So here I have basically four air. Can I go home now? Ah. <sighs> four. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, see, why can't there should be a little lock button on that. I want to lock it. Latin group, all of that fun stuff, but there's no lock button. 
because I don't want to keep accidentally grabbing it. Okay, I don't know. I'm reading the comments. So, like, lock it in place so that you can't accidentally grab it. Like, there's that. I don't want to accidentally grab it. I just want to... So, I'm going to scooch everything over just a wee bit. So, hopefully, we can see that. Um, as you can see, it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to be careful and just try and grab what I want and then I can move each little item, right? The other thing you can do is you can get your little arrows. There's a little arrow over my corner space. If I move it out just a little, it'll rotate. And if I'm not mistaken, no, okay, fine. I think 270 is even so then we can shift that there you see where we're going with this look at this okay and then we're going to rotate 90 come on okay so now we've got our four little panels okay isn't that cute um actually no the purple background is the cut area okay the purple area is the cut area the black and that's why i want okay let me put in another I'll show you duplicate and then we're gonna do we're gonna go light purple and then we're gonna go down here okay and then we're gonna go oops nope 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 okay So there's the light purple. The light purple is the full size of the stencil. The dark purple is the biggest area that Cricut can cut. Okay, so it can cut right up to that line, which means we can get these little guys really close to that line, like so. Okay, but giving ourselves a little bit of wiggle room we're gonna put them more closer to the center, like so, okay? And then I am also going to, yeah, there we go. So the light purple, actually it might be a little bit easier to see if we just change that color completely. We're gonna go green. Uh, not that green. That's ugly. Um, orange. Oh, there we go. That's a nice different color. So the orange is the size of the stencil. The purple is the cut area. And then the little black areas are where we're actually going to cut and create our fun stuff. Okay. So if you load up some SVGs, you can just plop your little SVGs to fit right into these little rectangles. But we're just going to be crazy and do some shapes and, you know, just have some fun. 
Um, because this is that's our basic thing. Ooh, let's do let's do a scalloped border. I haven't used that before. Where's it going? We we click it and then we wait to see where it goes. Okay. I'm going to change back my background color so I can see my parts. Click the canvas down here on where your layers are. Click the canvas. Then up at the top, we can click our color. So I'll go back to white for that. Okay. And then... Um, We've got our little scallops. I think it would be fun to do. Um, is there a better way? Okay, so there is a better way to rotate right here under rotate. So I rotated it 90 degrees. And then what does this button do? Nope, that, okay, that's not a button. It's just saying rotate. I want to put this there and I wanna make sure that um, I'm gonna make the width uh, five and 75ths, okay. And then I'm going to grab this square and this square by when you click it, okay? If you click it one time, it's just going to select that and that's all you're going to move. If you hold down the shift key and another item, then you can move them at the same time, okay? And I'm going to select both of these. This is another way. You put your mouse, you click it you click the hold button with your mouse button and then you drag across okay and then you can go to your align up here your align and i am going to center and then i am going to drop it to the bottom okay and now if i have both of those together i think it's the slice button or not let me see okay control Z control Z control Z I didn't do exactly what I wanted to do I want to I want to combine by subtraction No. I know what I want to do. I want it to... Intersection? Nope. Oops, not that. And the welding, there it is. No, that's not, I should have really practiced this before I even came on. Okay. Usually what happens is, ugh, Just control Z. Okay. And then we'll go back to a line. And then so 
same time. I'm just gonna mush it down like so if I can't get it to do what, what I think it should we'll we're walk around it and then we're going to weld these together oops nope that should have been a unite I think nope that worked okay so now to make sure that um, it stays the way I want it it needs to be four and a quarter, so four and a half tall. So I just took away that extra piece, right? Okay, now let's try this again. Yeah, I wanted scallops at the bottom. I'm really used to uh, design space, or not design space, illustrator and so some of the actions i do in illustrator i automatically think they should work here <laughs> and it doesn't but yeah so now we've got our scallops at the bottom okay so when we put this down and we ink at the bottom it's gonna leave some little scallops and we're going to do scallops again shapes we're going to get some bigger scallops and hopefully this time it'll go a little bit quicker since I know what I'm doing, sort of. That whole fun process of learn with me, like literally, I'm learning, you're, you're hopefully learning. Um, if it doesn't work out the way that you want, we just take our time and fix it up. And then I'm going to rotate this around. Uh, we're going to go 90. Okay, nope. 180. And I'm 18. What is the next rotation? I don't know. 270. Okay. So now we're going to do this. And this time we want bigger scallops. So we have options. So I'm going to do the height. I unlocked it so I can make the height bigger. Okay. Which is going to stretch our little um, doodads, right? Our little scallops, they're going to make them fun and interesting. So we're going to go like that. You can see the difference there. And then click there. We're going to put this right in there. And we're going to do our alignment. Oops, we got to select them both to do an alignment. That way there we get our perfect perfect thing okay so I've got it perfectly centered look it almost looks like a flea comb now I'm just gonna shoot this down a little bit oops too much I'm holding the shift button okay like so now hopefully when I cut these apart What just happened? Okay.
that was interesting, but that's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> that actually le leaves a pretty interesting design right there. Okay, we're going to do this this way. Oh, quit. Um, okay. We want... <laughs> okay, control V. I don't know why it's not letting go. Thank you. I just gotta wait. I'm going through it a little too fast. And I feel like there. should fit on there just perfect. And then we're going to Nope, see, okay. Delete. Okay. I do apologize, guys. I... Thank you, Pam. That's really sweet. I appreciate it. I spent an hour here, and I haven't got anything done, and I'm feeling a little frustrated right now for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to duplicate this one. We're going to make that 90. Got I got this part down. We're going to scooch this over here right there so I can work on it. We're going to do this. Oh my gosh. Why is it move so? Okay. There's our little, our little square. got some stars. Let's just do that. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to Okay. So that worked. 
Okay. I can dig I can dig that. Okay, so there's a stencil number one. Because why not? Scooch that over. Okay. That's gonna go there. This one we're gonna scoot over here. And we're gonna do the same thing. And uh, this time I'm gonna walk you through it since it sort of worked, right? So we're gonna grab our shapes and then we're going to do Oh, that's right. You just gotta click them. We're gonna get a, a rectangle or a diamond. We're gonna get um, a circle. And we are going to get a. Uh, da, 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 da. This little scallop you think. Okay. And we're going to put this circle inside of this one. And we're going to make it so the circle's on top so we can see. Over here you can rearrange your order. So I put the circle on top. I'm going to center both of these. Arrange. Nope, sorry, align. So we got our shapes. I've stacked these two. We're going to center them. Okay. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to subtract them. Okay. So now when I stencil, um, it'll... Ah. What will it do? It will allow us to do um, yeah, the scallop and the other thing. Okay, Control C V, and I say Control C V because, um, and then this one we're going to do eighty, ninety. Like so. And then we're going to copy and paste this one. Copy, control C. Still holding the control button. Control V. Okay. We're going to come over here with this one. And we're going to stick this diamond on top of that. So all of those are there. And then we're going to do, we're going to copy this top one. Control C. Control V. Like so. We're going to get another circle because I'm going to join these in the middle. Because remember, you got to have um, the, the whole kind of stencil touching everything, right? And we're going to do 0.5, see what that looks like. Okay, we're going to put... I didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. So I'm going to shift and select that. And while I'm holding my... <laughs> what was that all about? What? Let's redo that. Bring back my circle. Minimize it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to grab it. And then I'm going to hold the shift button and then I'm going to click on the other thing I want to align. But not you. Why don't we... Okay, so when I can't get what I want, I'm going to come down here and 
grab it. There we go. And then I'm going to hit my shift button and grab my circle. If it's not allowing you to grab there on the mat, you can just shift and do the same thing over there. And now we're going to align these into the center. Why is my chatty not even working? Teresa, hello, hello. Okay, so with those, okay, let's scooch this down. Now, if we don't connect anything to that little dot, Okay, it's just going to cut out and it's not going to be a part of the stencil, right? So I want to make sure that when I get these here, I'm going to line them up how I want them. Just a fun little design. Like so. I like that. I also liked this, so I'm going to do this control C, control V. Okay. And then I'm going to make this one. We're going to make this one 5 is too big. What am I thinking? Um uh 3 and then we can connect this to that Ooh, look at our little design okay I'm a little happier with that now we want these all to be one unit so we're going to weld them okay now when we put this over here, we're going to rotate it so that the points don't hang off. Okay. Like so. So we're just going to get a decent looking thing there. We're going to scooch that up. Like so. And then we are going to subtract, I think. Nope, I need it to go the other way. Actually, no, we don't even need that. I'll show you. Oops, 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 oops. We don't need to put that in a little rectangle. I just lost all my work here. Okay. So we get this over here, right? Let's downsize this so we can see. Here we go. So this will be a chunk of stencil. It's going to cut out. Okay. And that's going to be our little stencil. So I'm actually going to rotate that or make that a little bit bigger so I can have a fun, fun little chunky, weird design that we can uh, play around with. And then we're going to. I think we need to put something in those little points. Let's get this little teardrop. Just just to and we don't want that because I want mine kind of like that. And then I'm going to change the color of this one just so I can see it a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to rotate this in here, like so.
I'm going to copy and paste it. And then I'm going to rotate it around. I'm going to put that right in there. A little, a little doodadding, like so. I'm going to paste another one. Control V. I don't have to copy. As long as we're pasting the same thing, it holds it in the system for a while. Oops. Control V. Oh my goodness. Get that in there. Get this rotated around. Once once we figure out the fun stuff, you guys, it does get easier. There's a ton of better videos <laughs> than mine. I will also be doing um, pre-recorded where when I don't know what I'm doing and finally figure it out, I can just share with you that little tidbit of knowledge. Oh, look at that. That actually looks pretty darn good. I like that. And you can, of course, zoom in on it if you're having trouble seeing. Like this one is up just a little bit too high, so I'm going to bring it down in here. Bring this one in as well. Okay. And then I'm going to grab over here in this little menu. I'm going to grab the first one. I'm going to shift. And then I'm going to grab all of these teardrops and my little crazy weld, just like that. Oops, we didn't take that one. And then um, we're going to subtract again. Okay, we're going to cut those pieces out. We're going to give it a second while it does that. And now you see where all the purple is. That's our, technically that's our... Um, Blah, 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 blah. paper right so that'll be interesting and then if we if we do another one let's do I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm going to make this four and a quarter ish um go up just a hair okay and then we're going to we're going to center these two rectangles together and then we're going to subtract those Okay, and then we get this little frame here, okay, because this is what's going to happen. Okay, so we got our little frame that it will cut out. I just need it to be a line though. Can, is there just line shapies? Uh, that's a free form. I think that'll work. So the Cricut will cut out this rectangle which will then keep all of this purple on the outside and then cut our fancy little finaglies there. Bye, Pam. Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, so there's that one. So we've got super basic shapes. 
and Elizabeth is moving too fast with the little thingy. Don't use your little fingers. So this is our 12 by 12 piece is the orange. The purple is our cut area and then these rectangles are basic A2 size pieces. And then let's go ahead and just fill these two with some sh shapes real quick. I'm going to scooch that right over there. We're going to come in here and actually let's do this. Let's do And then we're going to do another one. Uh, we're so we've got love that smile. Okay. And then we can go into the fonty fonts. And you can go with what Cricut has. You can go to your system which um i have a ton <laughs> and we're gonna go um where i want individual letters like this okay that way there um they uh Is it not okay so here's here's our word love that okay it's kind of big it doesn't fit our card so we have options and my first option is to put that one back <laughs> and grab these one okay so we're gonna take the love that and we're gonna change it to another color just so we can see it we're gonna scooch it down here we're going to unlock it. That way there we can stretch it, shrink it, do all of that stuff. And we're going to put it in here. Okay. And now we're going to um, just expand this because I need to know. Oops, sorry. I need to just scooch over a little bit. Okay, so this right here, there's a little bit of space, very, very thin, and this is very, very thin. So I want to grab my words. Okay. And I know they just did a thingy where I can let them loose. Ungroup. Okay. So now I have every individual letter. If once you type it, it is. Deborah, hello. And no, you'll you'll see. It's going to be a weird stencil, but I think it'll be really cool. So, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I show you. I show you. I show you. But yeah, you would want it to touch the rectangle um but I show you. I show you in a little bit. Maybe we'll do that one twice and we'll do one with it touching and one without so you can see. That's actually a good idea. Thank you. Okay. So you type your word. It is in one group. You move it as a whole section. Then you go, you right click it and you can let each letter go individually, right? So I can see that I can... Uh, I want to go up here and grab the E off of love. Okay. And then I'm just going to tap to the left, to the right, to give it a little bit more room. Right. So I'm going to grab my A. That's not my A. Can we grab the A? I guess not. Let's grab the A. Okay. And then we're just going to move it. 
couple of smooshes. Okay. Okay. Now, please note that my O in the stencil will be a solid zero and my uh, A will be a solid. Because once we cut it, these little pieces, they're just going to fall out. Okay. But we're going to, we'll save them and I'll show you the fun things that we can do with that. Okay. Now we're going to find our word smile that I think I left on the other side. So we're going to minimize our screen. We're going to very carefully shift on over to the other side. I only need to see the E because remember I didn't un unlock, ungroup it. So then here it is. I'm going to change the color. We're going to, because color doesn't matter at this point. And then when we go and smoosh it, it'll be fabulous. We're going to scooch that over. We're going to enlarge this one more time. And smile is a good word because it doesn't have any circles in centery bits like B words, O words, A's, all that fun stuff. Melissa, to the left, to the left, do, 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 to the right, to the right, right, right. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa. No, once, once you get it figured out, I mean, look, it took me a little bit to get myself oriented and remember what it can do. But once you find a good video that shows you what you want to do. Or you call Linda and say, Linda <laughs> helps me. Okay. There's that. And now I'm going to go change that font because we don't want it to look like that. And then I'm just going to pick. Um, we have a nice funk, fat, chunky one for that. So let's do... This one looks fun. Let's see what this one does. Oh, I kind of like that. But I am going to squish this in. Control Z. Okay, now why did we do that? Do, do, do. We're going to come up here. We're going to make sure we have smile grabbed. There we go. I'm not sure why it tried to drop the E to the other side. So I'm going to put this here, right? That way there, when I go and do my stenciling, if I have some flowers or something, I can put right through the center. Let me see how that looks. It's a very unique little smile. I don't like it. I'm not going to lie. Let's fix that. I can't cut it. <laughs> I can't cut it if I don't like it. Oh, you can't. Unless you like throw it off a cliff or smack it with a hammer, you're not going to break it. I promise. It'll be fabulous. I want it to look like that, but I want it to be fat. That would be so awesome. Or do I want it? Let's see. Oh, look at that. I love this one. <sighs> Gotta scroll on up. Grab my smile. Nope, we need to un unlock it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that one's kind of cute. I'm going to smoosh it down just a little so that I can put, if I want to, I can put some flowers or something between them. Or, and definitely leave it for room to do taping and stuff. Okay. And then we're going to grab everything. Grab it all. Grab it all. And then we're going to subtract. <sighs> Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, I'm loving that. 
we're going to plop it over here. And then we're going to downsize this. Okay, now we're going to take this little guy. And we're going to get this little guy right there. And we're going to control CV because I was holding control down the entire time. So here's our new one, right? Okay, and then we're gonna shift and we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab both of them. We're gonna scooch them out here so I can enlarge them. Cause you gotta be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah, see, you see? See what I'm doing. So I'm gonna grab our little subtracty bit. Okay, and then we're going to, I'm just gonna free stretch it because I just need it to catch, right? We're gonna go right into the corners. We're gonna go right into the corners with this one. Always thinking, always thinking. I've got to do something else too because I don't think that's going to work, is that? Let's get that. It's a little. This one may not work the way I think it I it should, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, control Z. That is not what I wanted. Just wait a second, just wait a second. Yes, Cricut Design Space is free. And yes, I think Canva is free, but I do not use that one. <laughs> I do not do Canva. Okay, so, okay. Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a step back here. We're going to scooch that over. We're going to get rid of this, this rectangle. Okay, I'm just going to select it and hit delete. I'm going to... Um, no, actually no. We're going to bring that back. I'm going to bring back my bring back my rectangle and we're going to make another one. This is four and a half by seven. Okay, so then we're gonna do control C V and then we're gonna make this one just a four point two. That works. Because we need a little bit of a border, right? Okay, we're gonna get that out of there. We're gonna we're going to get a nice border because we need a border, right? So when the stencil, we have the stencil. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, we want to center both of these. Okay, so those are centered. And then we're going to um, subtract these two so we can get a frame. Okay, now this we want to make sure that it's going to touch our corners. Like so, like so. 
and then down just a wee bit. I don't want my corners poking out. Okay, and now we're gonna grab a both of these and we're gonna actually weld these two together because we want them as one unit. Okay, look at that. So this one will be a stencil like that, but this other one, which is the same design, is gonna be um, a two-piece stencil. And I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna send this over here. Okay. <laughs> too small, too small, I can't see. Okay, so there's that, right? So we're going to, we're gonna turn off that one and we're gonna turn off that one. I don't want them gone, gone, but now they're locked. I can't grab them. We're going to, attach, is it attached so that they cut the same way? I think, just double check. Right, doesn't need to have to touch the sides. It'll just be a weird, a weird, weirdy, weird shape. Okay, so I've attached everything. And if I click make it, I'll know if I messed it up. <laughs> okay, I did not muck it up. Look at that. So it is all on one board doing the, the exact same way. Okay. Um, we have a 12 by 12. I don't need to mirror anything because we're cutting into stencil material and I can stencil from both sides, which means if I do words, it doesn't matter. Wait, what? What's not free? Okay. Well, that's interesting. So if I want to use these three little shapes, the scallop and the teardrop, I have to pay $2. Really? Well, that really bums me out. I didn't realize you had to pay for some of the flipping shapes. <laughs> so normal price is ten dollars a month cancel anytime promotion five dollars a month Score ten dollars off coupons. <laughs> Pardon me. Ugh. 
<laughs> okay, so well, there you have it, you guys. If you want to do anything worth anything in Cricut Design Space, you got to pay for it. <laughs> Thanks, Cricut Design Space. Unless you bring in your own designs. Okay, garbage. Could you kind of not fall on me? I mean, seriously. So frustrating. I mean, like, I liked our little design. We're gonna detach. Detach! And then we're gonna grab that one. And then we're going to delete that. Nope. Ugh. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do, redo that one too. We're going to delete that. Because it's not free. The stars, right, are the stars even free? Let's double check our shapes. Star is free. Two different size stars. Okay. So let us... Let's see what we can do with an oval real quick. Um, can we... Nope. Okay, that's not the kind of editing I want. Uh... Editable images, free. Sixteen free editable images. And yeah, nothing. Uh, really? Okay. Go back to our shapes. Mm. Okay, so we're going to do the diamond. We got our oval um, images. Nope, <laughs> shapes. We're going to, we're, we're going to, yeah, um, so I, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can't draw in this program. You can't draw, but you could draw in another free program and upload it, which we will be sort of doing next week. Next week, I'm just, next week is going to be hecky easy. You guys are going to be like, okay, well, we can manage that. You're going to find some SVGs. You're going to upload them and you're going to send them off to the choppity chop, chop, chop. <sighs> Although I can't call it choppity chop chop, right? Because, oh yeah. Okay, so here's the dealio. We're going to do something similar-ish. And we're going to do three inch for that. Control CV, we're going to do um, a two inch for that. We're going to put these two together. We're going to grab them, click and drag across. We're going to align menu. We're going to come down and we're going to center them both. Okay. And then we're going to uh, subtract them. Subtract one from the other. Yeah, I yeah, we could totally cut these by hand. I'm just saying. 
Okay, and now we're going to take our oval and we're going to to make it bigger so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I kind of, I need these. I wonder if I can just align them. I want them to align center. Really? That's the center? I need to grab the oval since it's not letting me grab it. I just go over there. I'm going to hold the shift button and tap in one direction. And then I'm going to like that. And then we're going to do control CV. We've got our other one right there. Control CV. We're going to take our other one right here and we're going to rotate that 90. I don't know if it's 90, but we're going to put it at 90. There we go. And we're going to control C V. And then we're going to... <laughs> ah, such big jumps. Get your booty back up there. We're going to go like that. And where's our other oval? I want them all of our ovals on top so that we can see... Let's change the color. We're going to go like this. Okay. That way there we can squish our little bits in. And that is just... I'm going to eyeball center because I don't like what they did for center. So if I put my little X right there, right there, right there, right there, and then we're going to get another shape. We're going to get, let's get this little hexagon, because why not? We're going to see if it'll fit in here. And I need to unlock it because I need it to be wonky for me. I want it to touch there. And touch there. We're going to go like that. And control C V. And then rotate 90. And then we're going to connect those like so. And if we grab shift these, we're going to grab the two hexagons and we're going to align them in the center. And then we should be able to... I'm going to lock... Okay, that one is locked. So we're just going to make that one just a tad bit bigger. Okay, close that. We can make sure that our little doodads are right there. Look at that. So we've got our centery bits. So we're just going to lock these together so they don't get mucky mucked. Okay, and to lock them together, we're going to weld them because it's going to be one unit. And it is a little off-centered. You can see that these are bigger than this. And I'm okay with that. Okay. And now we can see that um, if we go to stencil this wonky shape, 
all of the white that we see through is our paper. So that would be, you know, pink or purple or whatever. So we want to add a little bit more fun to this. We need to go find our um, diamond. I know I pulled a diamond out. Okay, we're going to grab this little diamond. And we're going to put those on here as well we're going to tell that one 90 put that there okay and this little diamond we want we can rearrange the order to the right here just click and drag them and then cv control cv Okay, and then we're going to drag this right here. Okay, and that actually doesn't look too bad. Let me expand that so I can see it. Get over here. Okay, so there's that, there's that. Let me get another circle in here. Mm. Do I want a circle? Let's do a couple of hearts. I have an idea for them. They need to be small. Small. Okay. Oh, no. Let's go. Eh. Not you. I need my heart. Where'd my heart go? Okay, and we're gonna rotate this one 90 for that side. Like so. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna rotate it 180. I don't know. Hey, look, we got it right. And then this one, uh, what was it, 270? I don't know. Look at us. Hey! Uh, what is it doing? It's upsetting me. Okay, we're going to plop that one right there. We're going to turn this one 270. Like so. And then we're going to enlarge this again just so I can see really good what I'm dealing with. Okay. We're going to get a shape. We're going to grab ourselves a circle. And we're going to go down to a half an inch. We're going to kind of eyeball it because it's wonky anyways, right? And then we're going to attach, no, not attach, we're just going to leave less room. And 
you can use your little arrows on your keyboard. Like so. Okay. And then oh, control Z. We're going to minimize so we can grab everything. We're, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yes, I am here. I am here. You can hear me. Tap it, tap it, tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Okay, what just happened? Okay, so we're going to start up here and then we're going to grab just those items. And then we're going to subtract. No, 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 no. Okay, I made a boo-boo. We don't want to do that. We're going to grab the circle. We're going to shift. We're going to grab one heart, two hearts, three hearts, four hearts. Tell it to quit doing that. We're, we're going to lift up on that. And then we're going to find our other piece. And we're going to hit shift. And then we're going to click that. Okay. And then those pieces, not my little diamonds, we're going to subtract. Okay. Now that those are subtracted, we're going to add our diamonds. Okay. And in order to that, we want to weld them together. Okay, that's a little inner. That looks like a little throwing knife. It's kind of kind of interesting. And then I think we'll take another little diamond. Okay, we're gonna change the color of this one just so we can see it. And we're gonna make it. Um, it's locked, so we're gonna just make it an inch. Okay, and then we're going to bring it right in here, just like so. And then we're going to do control C, V. And then that way there we can drag this one down here. Control C, V. Now before we move it, we're going to rotate it 90. Okay. So then we can get it over here. And then we're going to do control C, V again that way there it goes like that okay and now we're gonna grab these again you guys can take your time and get these all lined up nice and perfect we're gonna subtract them okay so there's our, our funkiness okay this one here we're gonna delete because remember that one's gonna cost us money we're going to bring in our rectangle or our square because I didn't want rounded corners on mine. Okay, and then this one is four and a quarter. So that's four and a half. And then by five and a half, so five seventy fifths. Oh, I don't want it square. Four and a half. Okay, so there's our the biggest size we want our rectangle, right? So that's our biggest size. And then we're going, we need a border just like we did before. So we're going to get another rectangle, which we can right click, we can duplicate. Okay, perfect size. Um, and then this time we're going to go to 4.2. And then we're going to see what kind of border that gives us. And... Mm, we'll 
we'll get a little bit bigger border. We'll do four and then we're gonna grab a both of them. Okay, we need to align them so that we get a, a perfect little border, even spacing all the way around, okay? And then we're going to cut them apart, okay? We want to subtract the guts out of that one. <laughs> four and a quarter. Um, yeah, A2 size, four and a quarter, but I wanted a little bit bigger. So just w so we can go to the edge, edge with our stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna duplicate this so that we can have our rectangle for the, the other cut, right? So we're gonna put this up here. We're gonna duplicate this weird shape, okay? And then we're gonna take one of those weird shapes and put it up there. And then we're gonna work these two together, okay? that way there and this is locked oh this is gonna be fun wait till you see what i just thought of guys oh cindy Oh, Cindy. Linda, are you still there? <laughs> Linda, are you still there? Um, is there a way to, um, I, I want I need to straighten this up right okay control CV we're gonna make an extra one of these frames okay and then we're gonna that in just a little bit I think I know what I need to do oh Linda oh sorry Linda she's like yeah Elizabeth doesn't know what she's doing I'm out of here <laughs> Linda knows too much Okay, so we're gonna combine these. We're gonna weld these ones. Cause we just made ourselves a cute little pattern. And then we're going to, oops. Trying to work before it was finished. We're gonna put this here like so. And then we're gonna subtract. We're not gonna subtract anything if I can't grab a hold of this. enough just to give you guys an idea anyways we're gonna grab those two and then we're gonna subtract them subtracty 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 let's see what it does <gasps> oh that's cool but no control Z um Okay, I need to find out where that is. So there's that. 
I'm just shortening these so I can find what I'm looking for. Where's my little... Okay, so I think I need this above that. And then... That's fluid. Oh, that looks really cool too, but no. I told you. Brenda, yeah. I'm st still here because, you know, I uh, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um, is this the time for the slice? Oh, that's cool, but no. You guys, that uh, foily stuff, oh my gosh, that leaf, leafy stuff, mm, it's, it's so crazy. So crazy, it sticks to everything, and it was such a pain to clean, and I just got a chunk from somewhere up to my my table okay okay I know I sh should be. I want to cut. I'll just see what it looks like when I weld them. Yeah, I would like to delete the outside pieces, but I'm not quite sure how to. Definitely not that, although that does give some interesting stuff. Pull right side more. Yeah, I'm not. I'm wondering if that should be If that's, mm, what if we weld them together? And then, We're going to put that like that, and then we're going to subtract. I don't know. Vay's getting a Michaels. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to grab this and we're going to switch it places with that. And let's, whoa. 
let's try subtracting that way. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> but that is not what we need. I need it to be reverse of that. What if we... Four point five, five point seven five. Okay, and then we just plop that on there. Let's try this the other way. I broke it. Uh. Really? That's all it. Okay. Pamelo. I did it! Yay! <laughs> it only took all eternity! Okay, so we're gonna put that there. Then we don't need... Why does it keep doing that? Okay, we're gonna delete that one. And then we're gonna come up here. And I apologize if I said... If I said that... Okay, now this one, we want this little guy, and I'm going to turn off the measurement thingies because I do want it to be a shape inside the thing. I want to show you guys what it can do if you just put 
like a shape inside without um, it touching. Yeah, I usually don't because that's not her name. It's Pam. What the... Okay. Once you have everything figured out where you want it, you can go to... Oh, wait, no. We got to select everything because I want it to cut on my cutting mat exactly the way I have it. So we're going to attach them. Then we're going to make it. Please, pleasey, pleasey, pleasey. And if everything looks good, you'll get one mat with everything exactly the way you had it. Okay. And then there's no price tag. Yay, no price tag. Sheesh. Uh, it's connected. It's searching for the little Bluetooth connectory bit. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so sorry this took like an eternity. Okay, so now here's, here's the fun thing, okay? So uh, here's what I do. Um, I have some saved. Oops. Can I go back? Oh, well. I've got my mylar. I'm going to do more of a cut. Okay. So, here, here's that. It says custom material set to mylar. I don't need to reverse anything. Again, we're using mylar. Okay. Um, we're going to go down here. And then we're going to go to... Um, we're going to turn on zoom. We're going to turn off the cricket thingy. Okay. And then where's my zoom? Why is it not working? Oh, I didn't turn it on. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, and then there's you guys. There's me. Hello. <laughs> Wait, no. I I got the wrong one. Okay, we're going to scoot you scoot you back over. Okay. Now, I know the orientation's a little wonky, but this is what you guys get. So I've got my mylar smooshed down on my mat very, very snugly. I used a little brayer, well, a little doodad in, right? Oh, I got to unplug. Check out my mess. Check out my mess. Okay, so if we are connected properly, we're going to get our little thing under the little the roller bits. Okay, little under the roller bit. And it's flashing. It says, load me. So it's going to move. Keep your fingers out of the way. Okay. Then when it's done loading, it's going to do that. So you're going to tell it to cut. And then we wait. And it is cutting it twice. And why it cuts this way, heckin' if I know. So we'll let it do its thing. Oh, because we're going through mylar, it thinks it needs to be thick. That's alright. Probably too much, but that's okay. 
So we're going to come back over here. And then we're going to... We're going to do that. Then we're going to do this. <laughs> Hi, how are you guys? Long time no see. How you been? <laughs> are you guys like pulling out your hair? <laughs> I'm pulling out my hair. Uh, cozy mysteries, a certain company, or are you just calling the ones you buy cozy? Mad mysteries. <laughs> Cozy mysteries are gore-free and non-violent. Nice. So yeah, we're we're gonna let that cut. Because, you know, I, I didn't want to waste it. I just want to cut everything all at once. And I, I'm keeping you here for the views. I got like 10 people here giving me all the views. Give me the views. Sunday. I know. I still I still have the hair. I mean, it's a little un, undone. It was up and looking cute. But I'm sitting there, you know, so. <laughs> now it's really, really a muckery. <laughs> We're going to the top. We're going to the top. Just grab, pull, squish, floof. Floof. <laughs> there we have it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh, you guys. Um, next Monday. So this Sunday I will be working on making sure my SVG and stuff works. And then the following two weeks, we'll be doing the same thing, but with Brother. And I will play around in there so I know what I'm doing. And then um, I will... <laughs> yep. Just, gra just grab and tuck that right in there. Um... Iris Johansson. It was sounding weird. I had to look. Like, what are you doing over there? Making a muckery. Cozy Mystery Website. That's cool. I'm not a reader. Unless it's a Batman graphic novel, aka comic book. Mm -mm -mm. I do like me a good Batman comic, let me tell ya. Brenda likes to read. That's awesome. All these names you guys are tossing out, I don't know. I I can't I cannot contribute. <laughs> like I said, I don't read. <laughs> I don't practice. I don't read and I don't practice ahead of time. So you get what you get. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I will also be doing some pre-recorded straight to the bone. Clickety clickety click. Because I'll be able to edit out. Um, I was doing some testing for that and for doing some uploads to Crescent Creation. I had some issues with my stuff. I was trying to do a test upload over there and it wasn't letting me. So I'm going to, if you guys were with me on Crescent Creation, we started the little, um, the little, little pocket, little pocket journal, little pocket journal with the little carrot. So, um, I am working on the video with the next set of pages for this, the pre-recorded. Oh, you guys. 
Look at how stinking cute that is. It's a little carrot in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with the first page of that one. I'll be uh, finishing that little video. Hopefully it'll be up tomorrow. I wanted it up today. Too many issues, too many issues. But we'll get it, we'll get it there. And then tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, da 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 da. Deborah, da Deborah. No, 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 no. I'm waiting for. Okay. <laughs> she did message me back. Just a second. Okay, so yeah, Deborah and I are chatting about our Saturday. If we're gonna have it this Saturday or next Saturday, and then the following Saturday will be the crafty zoom, and I will put up the sign up as soon as I get done tonight when I we figure that out. I didn't realize we were already on our second Saturday of the month already. Like, it crept up on me and just, whoo, it jumped out there. I didn't know what to do. Let's get back into my live view. Hey, where'd you guys go? Where'd you go? Oh, it's not playing. Ha! Huh. Pam's a speed reader. <laughs> Not me. I'm slow. <laughs> I'm a little slow on the uptake. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm really hoping it's cutting. That's all I got to say. I added my extra pressure. I made sure it was on the Mylar setting, which I have cut it before on that Mylar setting. But before and now, who knows? You know, I'm going to check it. Please hold. Where are we at? We are. Oh, look at our letters. How cute. And. Oh, these are going to be some good stencils, you guys. Good stencils. Good stencils. Um, yeah. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Glory, I sure did. I had to go back and re-customize so that uh, it didn't charge me. <laughs> Gotta make it for free. So if you think outside, so if you wanted a scallop, you saw that little pill looking, um, ovaly thing they had in there you could put those in there and then just change the um rotation and you can make your own scallop thing and then what i would do you guys is save your projects especially if you make a a, a thing like a scalloped flower save it that way there you can import it copy and paste it into another project Marguerite, yeah, I stuck with it. <laughs> I would have gave up if the power went out. <laughs> I'd been like, nope, never again. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the next week will be much easier. I'm gonna have ready to go SVGs. SVGs are the easiest. Like I said, I do design in. Illustrator, there's Canva, there's Ink, Inkscape, I think is a free one. Um, lots of free I, places out there to draw, to turn your things into SVGs and stuff. Just kind of look into it. Or you go to places that sell SVGs and you load up on those. And then you make your, your stencils and stuff that way. 
99 degrees way that's a toasty oh poor melissa she says it's getting warmer but it's raining cats and doggies yeah okay so you guys okay so this this saturday i i'm not we're not gonna be live the next saturday it'll be me and deborah which is perfect because that'll give me time to go through my uh big pile of uh backgrounds because we're gonna be making journals um deborah and i on uh saturday the 15th saturday the 15th deborah and i will be live and then saturday the 22nd we're gonna do our live crafty zoom and i'll be looking for five people to join me and for that um i will post the post this sign up okay so yeah super excited about that but we might we might do a little surprise live on sunday i don't know i might feel a little extra crafty on sunday is this sunday uh maybe maybe not sunday is easter easter sunday you guys I do have an Easter project that I didn't get done that I could do on Sunday. That would be good. And we could just chill, chat and chill out. I keep clicking the wrong button. Mid 70s. It's doing something. It's doing something. Well, I know it's cutting all the way through. It cut that little teeny weeny bit. Ugh. It's cutting the rectangle. It's cutting the rectangle. We we might be having it, you guys. We're we're getting it soon. We're getting it soon. Pardon me. Let me, let me, let me get over here into the zoomy zoom. And we're gonna, we're gonna, I don't know. Where's that one? That's, nope. That one? Nope. That one? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Take you guys on a ride. It's over here. Look at kind of glary, but I mean, what do you expect? Oh, look at. Okay, so when it's all done, it's gonna have that, but we're not gonna push that. We're gonna come over here, okay, and we're just gonna double check that it cut out. Now I did two passes. I think it was a little bit too much. No, it didn't. See, it was perfect. All right. So now that I know it works, right? Otherwise, you could close it or leave it and then go cut it again, right? But we're going to eject it. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Okay, let me let me get our screen swapped around. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Wrong one. Do 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 do. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we're gonna set that there. We're going to turn that off. So it does that. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Ugh. Just throw everything around. Don't mind me. Ugh. 
And look, if you do scrapbooks, look at this. I could stencil, those are like perfect little squares. You could measure that up and then ink in some color. So you could totally save this little piece if you're doing a 12 by 12 page layout. But looky look. Okay, here's a little tip, okay? So you go to peel, right? And it's paper, whatever you're using, you're going to bend that, right? We don't want that. We want to bend. Our mat. Oh, look at that. Smile. Oh, the smile didn't cut completely through, but we're just gonna give it a little little snug. Look at <laughs> But see, we don't have the little spacer there or for the A. Two things you can do. One, put the thing back in there, okay? Because when we go to peel this guy up, he will have his little O. See that? So then we could put this back in here. And stencil that little piece right there, okay? Or... You put that in there and then you put a little light tack in there and then you pull that up and then that would be there. So you can save your little pieces or you can put a little gem in there. It doesn't matter, but look at that. Perfect. And then we have these letters, right? We made a stencil, but now we have letters. Well, you can add color to these letters. Yes, you can. You can put some alcohol, uh, alcohol inks on these. Okay, look at that. And I didn't cut it too deep either. And then you can use your little spatula, just pull them up. I'm actually gonna stick those back down so I don't lose them because I'm not, I'm not here for the leftovers. I'm here for th this part. Okay, so this one, I mucked it up a little bit, but look. I have a frame, it's perfectly cut because I measured it and centered it. So even though I mucked it up, right, it should have been a super thin one to help cut this out, but that's okay. Um, I can use this as an actual frame on a card, right? Yeah, so there's that. So here's, here's our stencil. And I want to be careful, right? So there's there's our two-piece stencil. That's why we didn't put it to touch the wall. We want to be able to ink this up one color. Okay. We ink that up one color. And then we're going to ink this up in another color. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, how fun. And of course, like I said, you can totally make it, um, I'm gonna flip this one over because that one's a big one. There we go. We got our stars. Let's grab this one. Now this one I was having issues with, so I've got this extra cutting stuff. It was just having an issue, but you know, I'll just mask that off because you know, when you're trying to figure stuff out, sometimes it just happens. Now here too, because I use the little hearts. So those little dinky hearts, I can throw in some color with some alcohol inks and then send them in as shaker cards, right? So I'm gonna hang on to the little hearts, not necessarily 
all these other little bits, but the hearts will be fabulous. Liz, um, yeah, uh, what I'm gonna, ugh, I'll do a different one of this because this one is just a hot mess, but, uh, I'll go in there Sunday, not Sunday, Sunday I want to hang out with you guys, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday I could do it after I get back with the, the fam. We're going to go to the Amish market and get some fresh donuts. I'll uh, re redo this one. I'll do it similarly and it'll look good. But yeah, I'll put... I'll, ooh, huh? What the heck? In? Where did you come from? Did anybody see where this came from? Like, and what is going on there? I don't know. That is so weird. Oh no. Gold foil. You guys, if you don't like glitter, do not get that gold leafing stuff. OMG burrs. You should have seen me trying to clean my cut mat. But uh, yeah. Okay, so before I set this down, where's my. Oh, it's right there. I'm just going to cover this. Just like so. And we'll get that in there. We'll get that in there. Yes. Okay, so. Don't mind, don't mind that noise. It was just an avalanche. Just an avalanche. Just an avalanche. Alright, I want to start with this one. grab our cutter because it's here come on we're gonna go to five and a half a little less than five and a half just a little And then we're going to take off a little bit off of this end. And then, yeah, I'm doing crinkly cuts because that's what I pulled out. Four and a quarter. A little less than four and a quarter. Just trimming down some paper really quick because I don't have any card panels handy. I need to get get on that. Okay, so there's some card panels. Okay, so you got your card panels. Holy hefferties. Holy, holy hefferties. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Four and a half by five seventy fifths, right? So this is going to go right up to the edge. Right up there. So I can adjust that in the next one I make so that I have a little bit of room. So if we want to cut it down and have a border, okay? So that'll be easy that'll be an easy fix All right easy fix then we're gonna go we're gonna go with blue some no diving just to see how our stencils are gonna work we're gonna put that right there look at that that a little 
little bit dark at the top and ombre that down like so okay gonna scoot it up a little bit because when I put it there I want that there okay and then we're gonna go with well let's do purple why not make sure my fingers are clean and then because we can see through it we can put that smile anywhere that we want so I'm just going to kind of center it, put it a little bit close. Now you can mask off the bottom so that you don't accidentally go over. Oops, which I should really, really do. trying to see if I went over look at that love that smile oh I love that and then you could doodle around the edges whatever you want to do you could um, stencil love that a bunch of times and then smile or stencil smile a bunch of times. Well, you would, yeah. So you could do like smile, 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 smile. I mean, there's lots of things you can do with that, but there's that one. Look at that. Look at that. We made that one. Okay. Let's see this other crazy one we made. And by we, I mean you, you all made it. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one, this one, this one, because I made it all wonky. Just kind of get it lined up as good as possible. Okay, and just like with any other stencils, you use your sticker mats, um, you know, the stickity mats, you use whatever you have to hold it still. I'll get some of these I'll get the designs fixed up look at that isn't that cool and we're gonna go in with the purple and then we'll just line that right back up where we had it Look at that. And then I'll have, I've got extra stencil material, so I'll put a couple of these in the shop that are already cut and ready to go. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I 
of course, you know, you take your time and do some really fun stuff. I can go through and re-trim that off. Get that to trim down to size. But that's what, if you make it a little bit bigger than your card, and then make sure your cut area is within your A2 boundary, you can go edge to edge. Um, I would, unlike me, don't do like me, Think about that when you're doing your words. Make sure your words really set in so you can trim down your card. So there's that one. There's that one. Here's some super, super basic, right? And then wherever it kind of sticks, you just give a gentle tug. If it doesn't seem like it will tug, what you're, <laughs> what you're going to do is... Oh... You're gonna roll over your mat. Jiminy Christmas. Okay. So you can organize your stars. And of course you could cut more. I mean, you could utilize that, but sometimes just having it so it's easy, right? Go like this. Okay shift it um, do the Pam technique put the ruler down okay maybe I want to shift that right there I'm gonna put that star right in there see that that covered in look at that figure out where we want it and I didn't even add any more ink to this brush for this one okay look at that look at that and then the fun thing, right? You have you have these little bits, right? So if I put that there, maybe put a little bit of tape. I mean, you can get really fussy with it. Put some tape down. Um, apparently lose a star. If I was a star, where would I have gone? Did I fall on the floor? Did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Oh, you're on the map. Yep, you're still on the map. That's where we went. We didn't go anywhere. We're still on the map. Surprised it didn't roll, ruin my map. I literally rolled right over the top of it with my chair. Because of the crash. So I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put that one there. And I think I'm going to do this one here. Like so. Right? I'm going to shift them. I'm going to shift them that way. Just like that. Okay? So my little stars, the center person parts, they're right here. Okay? Those ones here. Um trying to find a good color that would go with this I'm trying to find we'll try this one. Oh, you know what let's not make a mess let's not make a mess just because we're trying to show show some stuff like I know my splat box is there where is it at okay so here we go. We're going to put the star. We're going to put it on, but we're going to shift it. So we're going to put it on and shift. Kind of any way we want, right? Scooch that back in there. Okay. And then we're going to... Okay. Just like so. Got a little bit of cleanup. 
That's okay. Better to go there than all over my table. Okay. So we use those negatives or the positives. I don't even know. And then we can gently pick them up <laughs> and make sure we put them somewhere where we won't get inky. Look at how fun that is. And of course, if you did a little bit of a shift, you know, and really let that color underneath shine through, but look it. And even though we sprayed, I mean, it's still, look at how fun. You guys can go easily, go pop open Cricut, put some stars in a little rectangle, and then stencil, and then put some of them back, and then spray. You guys can do that. Look at, oh, I love this one. This one I like. This one I like. Okay. So we got those. Let's clean those off. And then our last, our last stencil. Okay. Now, we purpose this stencil is this stencil multiple times right we shrunk it down and we put it all over the thing and we wanted it connected this way but if you don't connect it to a border you just get a weird wonky shape right and this is if you put a rectangle around that you're gonna get the the, the leftovers right Otherwise, I would have had to hand cut this out. I hope that makes sense. If I had just cut this shape without the rectangle, I would have had to cut the rectangle myself. Because it would have just popped this out. Oh, holy bagolies. Okay. So, like my rectangle, because I'm I mucked it up. So, there's my rectangle, right? If I hadn't put that rectangle, I'd have just popped this out and this would still be connected to everything. But since I popped it out, I have this really interesting, fun design for a big 12 by 12 piece of paper. Okay, so we're gonna show you what we can, basically same thing with the, the, um, the stars, right? So, like I said, I cut it a little bit too small, but look, I can measure and get that pretty much centered in my area. So, we're going to do this. Oops. <laughs> keep doing, keep doing what Pam said. There we go. Put our ruler back down. Since it was right here. You know, you can take your time, get all this perfecto. Okay, so here, here's our big shape. Okay. Then we take our little bitty shape. Oh, it must be, can only go one way. There we go. It's not symmetrical. <laughs> Ooh, let's spray that one too. Why not? So we're going to put that there. We're going to put that there. Right? Okay. Easy couple little squirts. Lift. And then we have that very interesting fun little do that of course you can change the colors and this is a good thing too so if you're designing for selling and you think it looks good but then you get it out here and you're like oh i should put like little circles or something um make this ring skinnier then you can fine tune it and make it even better and then run it through again Okay, and just like any stencil, pardon me, 
clean this up real quick. Just like any stencil, if uh, you're feeling so inclined, you can trace images, right? Maybe I did that and didn't particularly like how it came out, which I don't. I'm not going to lie. It's not my favorite. I'll do one. Okay. So I can put that back there. And then um, I can just grab... I can grab a pen, you know, if you use a little bit of uh, pixie spray, you could do that. Oh, let me just get a little bit of this done so you can see. Okay, so you can go in and trace all of your stencils, every stencil you own, you can do that with. And then maybe you can um, make a design. Okay. So you can doodle inside the big areas. I mean, you can do whatever you can freehand your tracing. Do whatever you like. There. So yeah, you can doodle in there. Doodle, all that fun stuff. But uh, once you get it printed and you're like, oh, I don't particularly like it, you can go in and make some edit changes. Whatever you need. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. And I do, again, apologize for the first part of this. Well, I, you know, I don't apologize because that's life, right? You sit down to do something and it doesn't go as planned very first thing off the shoot. So we're like, ah, but we just persevere. Maybe go watch a video, see how, <laughs> see how it's done. Or ask a Linda if, she, if she's hanging around. <laughs> Say, Linda. Janine, hello, hello. Mary Landers, hello, hello. Okay, I'm just washing those little stars. I have another one here somewhere. Because I want to show you guys the, the stencils. Okay. Are free Cricut made. If you want the fancy shapes, you got to pay for it just silly it's just silly shapes i mean <laughs> leave the shapes to be free come on cricket that way there you you i mean yeah just the basics but uh yeah so there's there's what we cut out with our little cricket and it's all freehand well not freehand but uh you know off the cuff the free stuff this is a font that I had in my system. I didn't have to use their font. Used their basic shapes to do some fun stuff. You know. Uh, uh, uh. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. But yeah, so I thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. This one, this one's a weird, weird one. I liked it better before <laughs> it was no longer free. Okay, but yeah. So I'll make some adjustments to these and I'll put a couple in my shop. And uh, yeah, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> I'm actually, uh, I don't like that one. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like that one. But I, oops, where's this one? Where's my smile? I put it out of the way so I wouldn't muck it up. Look it. I love that one. Oh, isn't it so cute? Could you imagine you could ink blend a beautiful background and then do the 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 words and a super dark rich color right over the top of it, even black. 
and uh yeah i like that one that one and my stars i really like how those turned out just for having three stars although i think i'm going to adjust it so that they are more in an alignment i think that'll be extra although the kooky design is kind of cool too i don't know thank you everyone um especially for those that left and came back you guys are rock stars you guys are fabulous and uh cookies oh wow Janine did make lots of cookies <laughs> poor Pam so you don't have a cricket I used a ruler and I've had inky fingers <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I've used paper it, it's just weird Okay. Yeah, I like that idea. Alrighty. Well, I will talk to you if you guys have any questions. Um, again, next week is going to be a lot easier. But if you have a question and we want to review it, um, I am going to make myself some notes for the basics. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, yeah, because you can't save anything. Well, I don't know. I would email them and be sure. Be like, hey, you know, I can't afford it, but, you know, right now and see if it holds them. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, Janine. Until next time, my friends, I will chat with you.